Uh oh, we're live, baby. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to the first video of this channel. Um, my name is Steven, and you can call me Drew Ojisan. This is a chat, the name of the channel, you know. Um, if if you're a basketball fan, if you're Boston Celtics fan, you were a Cavs fan or a Kyrie Irving fan, you'd know exactly what my name means. Especially if you like Japanese culture, if you know Japanese language in general, or or you know. Anyways, enough of that stuff. But yeah, what's up? Um, Welcome to my channel, and if you're here for retrospect, uh, obviously there's only one video, and you're here just here just watching again. Um, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome to the channel, and I hope that um, what you're gonna get out of me, you'll enjoy. But anyways, uh, the game that we're playing today, or for the inaugural video of this channel, and for the very first video for of this channel i'm gonna do games but i'm gonna do some other stuff as well hopefully eventually oops the first game i'm gonna play is doki doki literature club um it's a game by team silvato uh who is, which is headed by dan silvato and i don't really know much about him but i remember him just making uh super mario maker levels and i've seen his videos i've never i don't play super mario maker because uh, number one i don't have a switch and I'm broke as heck. I don't have a job, <laughs> sadly. Um, and I still haven't gotten a job, so I can I can't buy anything. And all I have is a PS4 and this computer. As you can see, this game I'm playing right now. But a little bit about the game. Um, again, it's made by Team Salvato, and it's pretty much structured like a light novel. And you're pretty much this uh, otaku, and you're in high school um and pretty much looking for a club but you're not really that interested and you just get dragged along and that's pretty much all i remember from from what i've seen from this video at least and i've only seen like a few parts and i purposely did not upload this video for a while and did not see any videos of this game for a while because i didn't want to spoil myself and all of that and hopefully that I, I have seen some of the big moments and i hope that doesn't damper or the impact that it's gonna make if if we ever get to that point but um yeah as you can see i'm pretty very late to the party this game came out what um i think i'm being not i think this game came out like september august of last year so i'm pretty i'm probably like at the bottom of the heap as far as the trend goes and hopefully the game still has that uh impact or that notoriety that it's still people still watch it but i mean i don't really at this point when in, in the age of this channel uh th it doesn't really matter because uh we're new and i'm only doing this because i want to have fun okay and if we get to that point then to the point where you know the next you higher <laughs> newer heights and stuff like that then so be it but anyways let's just get started with this game so here we go oh pretty girls it's like I'm living my high school life all over again, except it's the same thing and I can't do anything about it. Anyways. Yeah, I already did. I already did the stuff at the beginning of the game because I already, like, I already played this game and I tried recording, but I was stupid enough to know that I didn't know the game was, wasn't was recording, this game. At least so, anyways. I have to do all that voice acting again. The voice acting I did. And I'm going to do some voice acting because... Uh, I, I'm not gonna improv and <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna, I'm gonna do for some voice acting, I guess. Alright, anyways. Hey! Hey! Did y'all cool not that? Alright, anyways. I, I'm gonna do this like a uh, freaking. Oh my god, I'm just, I'm probably disturbing my mom who's working next door and stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna do this guy like some edgy emo quiet, monotonous, like Sasuke, Uchiha, <laughs> anyways, alright, 
And if I say that one more time, take it. If I say anyways, like or all that stuff, just take a shot. Anyways. <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Uh oh. Ugh, Sakura. I don't want you. You're annoying. Alright. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh my goodness. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she, over she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh an idol in front of a crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <coughs> oh man, I'm sick. Sorry guys, I've been sick a couple of days on so my voice. Pardon me if my voice is a little weird or if I slur some stuff, but anyways. <sighs> Hours off again. <sighs> What'd you do last night, huh? Thinking about me, huh? Doing some stuff, some freaky stuff that I don't know about, huh? I am Sasuke Uchiha. I mean, Steven, sorry. <laughs> but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Steven. <laughs> I should have given my guy a Japanese name, like seriously. <laughs> or in Japan, fun. Whatever. Let's say just I'm an exchange student, because that's what I am in high school. Like, I'm a... Let me tell you a bit about me, because I moved from... Man, I really... No, guys, hold on a second. Alright, sorry. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Alright, sorry about that guys, but anyways, like I was saying, like, I was an exchange student, right? But not really, because uh, I came from the Philippines and we moved here to the US when I was 11. And it's funny enough, because Japan is like, really? I don't know, there, in Japan, there's a lot of Japanese, uh, surprise, surprise, right? Japan and all that, stupid. Anyways, like, I moved to Vermont and I'm like, probably one of the less than 5%? In Vermont, because there was one. <laughs> so I'm pretty much like, but I had like normal, basic American name Steven. But anyways, that's beside the point. We'll get on more into that. More of the channel grows, I guess. More stories. Anyways, that's me, Steven. <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. I don't want you, Sayuri. Sakura. I mean, Sayuri. Sakura. Sayuri, sorry. I don't want to make Sayuri. Not with you. Right. Fine, fine. Fine. Fine, fine. But you didn't wait for me after all. I guess you don't have an any to be mean if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayuri. You think yeah, you're definitely thinking about some freaky stuff about me last night. <laughs> bang bang! Oh no! <laughs> All right, sorry. Shouts for little kids. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Stephen, have you decided to join on a club yet? Have you decided on a club to join you? A club? Man, I'm a one-man squad. I have the Sharingan, I have Susanna, and I have Chidori. I don't need your help. I have Rinnegan, too. I told you already, I'm not really, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did. 
in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <laughs> Story of my life. Except I do watch lo I do watch anime, no though not as much as I used to. Anyways. Uh huh. Why are you so mad? Uh -huh. <laughs> Stop it. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Man. Or whatever, Mom. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. What? Oh, is that you mate? You giving me signals, Sayori, huh? Huh? I mean... If, me, if I was in high school and girls were sending me signals... I mean, girls were sending me signals when I'm like, stupid. Stupid ass. Anyways. And now you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a need in a few years. Because you're not used to, re to the real world. <laughs> Come on now. I mean, you feel the, you, the way you feel about the Steven and Doki Doki, I feel, I feel about me in real life. So I guess I see where you're coming from. Anyways. You trust me, right? I, I guess. Don't make me keep worrying about you. You're definitely <laughs> thinking about stuff in your sleep. You're definitely thinking about stuff in your sleep. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Yay! Yay, so good. Goodbye! <laughs> Man, you, you do look cute right now, so you're okay. You could, you're annoying, but I like seeing you happy, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Annoying girl. Nagging girl. <sighs> Alright, anyways. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. Man, guys. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Okay. Alright. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. I just want to go home, plan my plot, and destroy the leaf, and become a Hokage. Man, stop. Alright. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. <laughs> Man. You need some variety in your life. And I'm kind of speaking to myself too, because I need some variety in my life. Starting with this. Alright, anyways. Hello! <laughs> Gosh. Sayori. Man, why do I sound drunk right now and sick? Sorry guys, I got drunk. Oh, man. I'm a little sick right now. Still. I've been sick since, like, Wednesday. <laughs> I need to do something about this. I need a drink. Hold on, guys. <laughs> oh, my game. All right. All right. All right, Sarah must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm, a, I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the class. All right, this is getting ridiculous. I'll be right back again. Once again, sorry. I thought I caught you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out. So I came in. Ah, uh, annoying. Get out. Oh man, I wish I wish I had a girl like that, sending signals like that when I was in high school. He probably did. You're stupid. Anyways, Steven. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <coughs> yeah. I'm worse than everyone. I'm Sasuke Uchiha. I'm worse than everyone, better than everyone. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. 
Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, oh, you wasn't you look good right now. Oh, I want you, I wanna eat you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no what? Well, that you could go to my club. <laughs> Sayori. Yeah. There is no way I'm going. I'm going to your club. Yeah, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. <clears throat> Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help out, to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Well, look at you. <laughs> Sorry. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Man, you watch anime? I mean, I guess you read manga too. You're an otaku, that's literature. Alright. Just go, alright. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Don't want to be there, man. <laughs> I've heard stories. <laughs> Come on, please. Just join, bad. You know, you're gonna be the only dude there. That's not necessarily bad, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stop. Why do you care so much about me anyway? You're annoying, Sakura. <laughs> Sayori. All right. Well. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Nasuki made cupcakes and everything, so... Alright, chop. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't make promises you can't keep. You're annoying. Alright. I can't tell if Sayori is planning that much of it, is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to plan all of this out. I don't know. Sakura, you're dumb, you're annoying, you're smart, I don't know. But being Sasuke, I still love you. Alright, anyways. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> oh, man. <laughs> I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? No, oh, Sasuke does that whenever he thinks. <laughs> I saw this weird fanfic, right? I just happened to come across this of like Naruto and Sasuke of their like. Someone made them their OTP and they're like. Sasuke, you're so good at guessing. <laughs> you're so good at cooking, Sasuke. <laughs> Alright, anyways, not making any sense right now. Nobody knows what you're talking about and everyone's gonna hate you for, for being so fake right now. Anyways. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I de dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs. A section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. My goodness. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. <laughs> Man, I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah. I glance around the room. Ooh, look at you. Okay. No, that's the girl I want, guys. She looks like a quiet, nice little girl. Little. I don't even know if she's little. She looks like she looks like one of those like I don't know. Since this is anime, let's let's compare this to anime. She kind of reminds me of. Uh, she looks like Hinata, but she's probably like. Have y'all seen? Have you guys uh, seen uh, Nisekoi? She reminds me of uh, Onodera. That man of. Uh, Onodera, and where she's like this nice, kind, sweet young girl. So, anyways, let's do her like that. Well, 
Welcome, welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori so always says nice things about you. Okay, <laughs> look at you. <sighs> Seriously? Seriously? You brought a boy? <laughs> My mom knows those probably like, man, shut up. All right, who are you? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh man, bruh. Nah, uh-uh. You need guys in this group. <laughs> Anyways, before I go on some political rant. Anyways, uh. Ah, Steven, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. <laughs> all the word, all words escape me in this situation. This club. Sasuke loves that. Sasuke. The clan. Let me go to the. Let me go to the Hokage and uh, freaking ask her for ask her. Ask Kakashi, Nato, or any of them. Is the clan restoration app still in effect? <laughs> I'm gonna properly do Chiha clan. Four wives at a time. Man, it's not the message I want to send, guys. One girl is good enough. Trust me. <laughs> Don't trust me because I haven't been in a relationship. <laughs> Anyways. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. You're annoying, you spunky little girl. <laughs> <laughs> S sorry. S sorry. Oh, Natsuki. Natsuki. <laughs> oh, you doing that Sasuke too? <laughs> Alright, you're still cute. <laughs> Anyways, stop it. The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Nasuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayuri, or, or, she so, says, you can just ignore, you can just ignore Sayuri, Natsuki. Alright. Sayuri says that quietly into my ear, then turns my back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Oh, you rhyme with This is Natsuki, always full of energy. Stop it. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Oh, look at you. I want you. Oh my god. Yo. <laughs> Don't say things like that. Don't say things like that. Stop. Yuri appears comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sigari and Natsuki. Ah, oh, uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. 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 I want to do this like Japanese pronunciations, like Sasuke's character, because he is actually he actually does like pronounce Japanese nice. And pe people are like the sub. These friggin'. I don't want to say weeaboos or and everything like that, but like those. Those uh. Anyway, sub purists, like subtitle purists, they're like, why do you mean I'm thinking like that? Man, you, you like Japanese, right? Then you like proper Japanese, so why are you like, uh, it's not Naruto, it's Naruto. Then when freaking Sasuke's voice actor says, mm, cringe, anyways, before I go on a rant, again, all right. Sounds like, yeah, it sounds like you know Monica, is that right? That's right, that's right. It's great to see you again, Steven. <laughs> Was <laughs> yeah, what's up with that post? <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. Uh oh, she's sending out. Ooh, you did not send those though. You're so cute too. I want you. I want all of you. We got really beauty our plan. <laughs> the plan restoration act. All right. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. 
Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Oh, what a body! How oh, old it? As one of my friends would say, I'll have her kids. <laughs> Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> yeah. So having her smile at me so genuinely, genuinely feels a little. Feels a little. Yeah. Oh, oh, you, you too, Monica. I want the Keke Genkai. Shouting God in your bloodline. We can dominate. I can't stop thinking. Uh, oh. <laughs> Come sit down, Steven. We made room for you. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Oh, come on, let her do her thing, man. Spunky little girl. Spunk. Alright. Then how about I make some tea? Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As I already mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Natsuki and your Natsuki alright, I'm not doing my voicing. Natsuki Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray around. Natsuki grab <laughs> do this right, Steven. Alright. Natsuki Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling a little awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay. Oh, look at you. See, you can smile too, right? Oh, okay. Oh, man. Clan restoration after nothing. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Oh, gosh, man. Ta-da! Oh, so good. I see. <laughs> Monica. <sighs> Thanks, you look so Monica. I still. <sighs> My blood. My phone is right. Anyways. Natsuki lifts, the Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to bake ears. So cute! Kawaii! Kawaii desu I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, you know. <laughs> Just hurry and take one before you kill me. Alright. Oh my god. <coughs> Sayori, Sayori grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake out around in my finger, looking looking for the best angle to take a bite to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaky glasses in my direction. Sorry guys, for my voice again. I can't help but notice her sneaking glass. Yeah, I already read that. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. <laughs> the icing is sweet and full of flavor. Oh my god, it's sweet just like you. I want you. <laughs> I wonder if she made it herself. <laughs> This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? It's, it's not like I... Oh, oh, I see. Oh, you love it for a side for you, huh? Oh. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> My thoughts exactly. 
That's why I reacted like that. Made them for you or anything? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I thought you technically did. That Sayori said. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> but, 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 not for, y y you know, you, dummy. Baka. Baka. It's not like I like you or anything. Baka. Alright. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Yeah, it does. It does, Yuri. <laughs> oh my god. I just love my first eye for me. I hope I love my first eye for you. I love you. Marry me. Here's a ring. <laughs> it's just a recording. Alright. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Yuri. I want to stare deeply into your eyes. I can already feel. I'm not gonna. Oh, that's not. <laughs> it's okay, Yuri. I want some more. <laughs> Insulted, Yuri looks away. <laughs> I meant that, you know. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. How like... So what made you consider... So what made you consider a literature club? Uh... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, that... <sighs> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... You know, I just joined, and now that I think about the girls, I can restore my clan. <laughs> That's okay, don't be embarrassed. Man, girls with p good personalities. Oh, Steven's gonna have a field day. <laughs> Yo, stop talking like that. Climate's changed. All right. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to? Jo How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> Why do that pose? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing and about the budget and pu publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. <laughs> Yuri not mm -hmm. Then I'm sur then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But if, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that, you, that we can all really, we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. <laughs> you know it. Oh my goodness! Look at the lineup. Oh, mm. Nasuki, your pink hair. Oh, 
on Yuri the bosom. <laughs> so Yuri, we're compatible already. Monica, you're a physical specimen and a personality. Oh, shut your mouth, Steven. Stop it. <laughs> Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of a new, of a new member joining. Hold on a minute. Though I still don't know, don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Stephen, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. <laughs> Man, guys, here's an, here's one of my advices. I'm not really that wise, but I'll give you one. You know what, man? If you enjoy something, I mean, if it's like something negative, then yeah, definitely get rid of it. But like, if it's something harmless, is like anime or manga or like just nerd stuff in general, or there's just something that's not harmless. People, and people make fun of you for it. Man, screw them. Just enjoy, enjoy whatever it is that you like. Anyways, <laughs> being talking more about this in some other video, but anyway. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking, so... Manga. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. <gasps> Manga! It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can... Well... Well... That can change. Anything for you, Yuri. Cute. I still want you. Oh my goodness. Look at you. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Oh, don't be sad, Yuri. Smile, smile because you're happy, not because you're sad. Come on. <laughs> anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed, re she seemed so reserved and, t and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can be can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ooh, horror? What you read? Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level because I want to relate to you, Yuri. You're the one I want. <laughs> You're cute. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I, would re I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I like gentle guys. I still like you, one of them. <laughs> I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Man, don't you... If you want to be with me, girl, uh, don't use... Don't put down other people, like, hating whatever they do. Don't do that. Just be... Just tell me what you love, and... Yeah, I don't like... I don't... <laughs> Anyways, before I ran again. Oh, why is that? Yeah. Oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a second. Well, <laughs> never mind. You clearly sending out signals by your, your hatred. You're putting down people. Nah, that doesn't work for me. 
Go purify yourselves in the shores of Lake Minnetonka before you come to me. Alright. <laughs> Sorry. That's that's right, you usually like to write, write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. Give that back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> yeah, you're cute. You're still a hateful little. <laughs> I want to say winch. Because <laughs> you're not. Alright, sorry guys. Sorry sidles up behind Noski and puts her hand on her shoulder. <laughs> I'm not cute. Ah. You don't like looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Noski, you like to write your own poems? Yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think. I, well, I, I, I think that's impressive. Why don't you share some. share this sometime? N no! Noski averts, averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Look at you, Yuri. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Your Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Noski feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Nat and Yuri. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call her, Nat. Okay. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Is that how you <laughs> sound weird? Um, let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Well, well. <laughs> yeah! Let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the, bond of the club. Isn't that right, Steven? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dang! Oh my gosh! Alright. Anyways, hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly came forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. I still have to destroy the leaf and be Okage and restore the clan with all of you. That's all I need. <laughs> Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... <coughs> sorry. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... but... I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> Steven... Steven... Y you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I want to join another club, but they're so good. Uh, Sayori, Yuri, Monica, Natsuki. Oh. <laughs> god, stop. Thirsty. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's all like this? 
That is, if a writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. <laughs> oh my god! Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, I got them right where I want them. Yes, I'm so happy. Oh my goodness. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, annoying. He really did scare me for a moment. Oh, not for you, Yuri. If you really came for it, just for you. <laughs> if you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> I turned up. Then that makes it all official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah. <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem. Write a poem to bring the next to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Steven, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Y yeah. Hey. Can I really impress the class star, Monica, with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Let me save this, because I'm, I'm going to end this video in a little bit. Alright, meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey. Hey Steven, since we're already here, do you wanna walk home together? Huh. You wanna you wanna be the the inaugural? You wanna have the first Uchiha in years, huh? huh? Next to Sara? Huh? <laughs> Stop it. It's not the message you wanna send, Steve. That's right. Sarah and I never walk home together anymore. Cause she always stayed after class for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the class, the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls, Sayori, Naski, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be able to spend, will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Tune in next time in the next episode. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and me. And I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess the start is writing a poem tonight. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it right there. Uh, it's gonna be a long. It's gonna be a long video for this. I've recorded like 50 minutes already, and I think that's a good place to end it. But anyways, sorry again for, first of all, sorry for just being sick right now. Um, my voice is a little slurred. Yeah, and I've been sick for like the past week. And so far, so good. Um, the video is gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be boring, but I hope I entertain you with that cringy voice acting and stuff like that, but uh, again, if, if you enjoy the video, um, leave me a like button, um, please subscribe because <laughs> as of this video, I have none, zero. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, I enjoyed it, guys, um, hopefully, um, there'll be more to come, uh, no, there's definitely gonna be more to come, I had fun doing this, and, uh, as sick as I am, uh, it doesn't matter, I enjoyed it, and, Again, if you're back, then thanks for watching again. Thanks for watching as always, and uh, I'll see you next time, guys. So long.